kids have a wider perspective. They see more, they believe more, they notice more. And in it, I wanted to create characters who still believe everything children believe, and yet not. These kids no longer believe in Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy. But then, when the lights are out, they're still afraid that there's something under the bed. This is not your standard horror movie. It's a movie that deals with friendship and the power of confronting darkness together. Our characters all have certain things about ourselves that ostracize us from the rest of the town. They were all bullied. So the Woozers Club formed and we're like a huge family. You fall in love with the characters and you really feel close to them. Hanging out with us makes you a loser too. I can take that. Which makes it even more scarier when these really bad things start happening to them. I saw something. There was this... The clown. Yeah, I saw him too. The losers figure out something's been haunting the town. They start searching for friends, but you start to realize that they're searching for something much bigger. Jerry's not like any town I've ever been in before. People die or disappear six times the national average. We realize that all of the murders in Derry, all of the missing children are all connected. Look, that's where it lives. <gasps> it is anything that you are ever afraid of. What happened? This story is a great parable for what happens when we don't confront our fears. It's summer. We're supposed to be having fun. No offense, Bill, but I don't want to go missing either. Those kids are the only people able to battle this creature because they're the only ones who still believe in monsters. What happens when another Georgie goes missing? Or one of us? Are you just gonna pretend it isn't happening like everyone else in this town? We have to go on a mission to fight against evil and secure our friendship. This is what it wants. It wants to divide us. It shows how when we come together, we can really do things. If we stick together, all of us will win. It's a beautiful story of friendship, but this is a Stephen King adaptation, so it's pretty terrifying. Hey, Bali here. Now, a lot of effort goes into making a movie, and this, the exorcist behind the scenes fact, goes to show it. William Friedkin had a shotgun with blank shells that he'd shoot off on the soundstage during breaks. It scared the daylights out of everybody, and after a few times, he was asked to stop. The actors didn't find it funny. What they didn't know was that their reactions were being filmed and later inserted into the movie as their reaction when Regan made a sound upstairs. Hmm. Okay, so if you want to watch more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you receive the videos the moment they are online. See you next time.